it was a peace game that released. Uh, I don't know how well it will sell or how well it is received. But it released. Uh, didn't really hear much people talk about it besides people make walkthroughs through it. You know. Okay, the average... <clears throat> People who actually bought the game. Because. There might be some troll reviews of people who never played the game before. I was giving it a 0 out of 10. But the general reception of the game is pretty positive. 8.1 out of 10. Well that's what I've been trying to say. That people. Not everybody wants a super hard and difficult game. To play. Some people do want easy games. Yes there is an audience and a market out there for easier games. Because. Because there are games that are supposed to, that should be for smaller audiences. Okay, you know, people who just want to, okay, not small audiences, a more casual audience. Okay. Yeah, but there are people who are pissed off over this game for absolutely no reason. Like they were over Mario Wonder, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. And yeah. So that this game has finally released. But they missed opportunity here to bring back Toad's Wolf. This is a character that was like, you know, Peter's like assistant. He was introducing Mario Sunshine. And then following the Wii era, he just disappeared as a character. He disappeared as a character as well. You know. Yeah. So yeah, Pozov could have been easily incorporated to the game story given his history of Pete's, obviously. He, of course, Pozov was introduced in Mario Sunshine. But in the first Pete's game, I think, Toad Dwarf was in the game. You know. Yeah. You know. So that Toad Dwarf appeared first in Mario Sunshine and played Mario Parties. Uh, for his Fowzie and Door. Mario and Luigi. So yes, he might return, he might make an appearance in Fowzie and Door since he was in that game. But... I have two theories. Either Toad Dwarf died because he is a pretty old Toad. Okay, he is pretty old. Okay. Or they don't want to use him anymore for some weird reason. Okay. Yeah. His latest appearance was in a remake of Bowser's Inside Story of Super Mario 3D All Styles. And he's had to appear to follow your door, obviously. But it's weird that they don't want to bring this character back. I do, you know, Toad's Wolf is kind of like of the Cooper kids. They don't want to bring him back for some reason. Of course, he'll be brought back in all remakes of the GameCube and DS era games, but he hasn't had any significant presence since, like, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Okay? It's kind of like Nintendo has kind of forgotten about this character. Like, it is a character I think Nintendo doesn't really care all too much about. And yeah, that's about this video here. Goodbye.